Hello there. So we are into the next section here. Um, again, be forewarned, if I tell a joke in this one that I've said already, I apologize. I'm remaking these videos, so I don't remember which jokes I've made in other videos. And uh, you know, it's like your dads always have like the dad jokes that they say over and over again. It's like, it's, uh, I'm a dad. So just, just know this, that there's going to be jokes that reoccur. I apologize. Yeah. So section 1.3 part 2. We are going to combine transformations continually in this one. <clears throat> so the purpose is for this one we are going to, same as last one, apply all types of transformations, uh, ordering, and the mapping. That's what we're going to do again today. Let's get into this. So given the following functions, I'm going to give you two of them. We want to know what is the appropriate order to attain the graph. So given this one, you've seen lots of ordering questions. This should come as no surprise, but I'm going to go over two really quick just to make sure it's solidified in your brain. So what you do is label each of the numbers. What do they do? How do they change your graph? And then number them. Either vertically first, horse. Wow, I got hiccups. Vertically first or horizontally first? So I did vertical. We do it like this. Boom. There's your ordering. Not too bad. Try it again. And this one, same method. Nothing new. So you're looking at each of the numbers. Are you expanding? Are you compressing? Again, with the X's, it's the opposite of what it seems. So this one looks like it should be a compression, but it's expanding. And then you got a reflection in there. This one looks like it should go to the left, but it's to the right. So horizontals are opposite. Let's see if I did horizontal first. Nope, just kidding. Verticals. So vertical first, horizontal first. If you did horizontal, uh, I say that every video, don't I? Just either one. Doesn't matter. So that's ordering. Now for the trickier part. Doing the ordering is not too bad. Looking at graphs and being able to write an equation, this is where things can get a little bit tricky. So I want to spend some time on this. So I want to know what's the equation going from f of x to g of x. And I'll teach you some strategies with this. We're typically going to find h and k first. Those are the easier ones. All you need to do is find a point that doesn't change with expansion and compression. So take the zero, zero point. If you remember from two classes, three classes ago, something like that, when we're expanding and compressing, you take a zero, times it by a factor of three, doesn't do anything. You take it, times it by a factor of 254, it doesn't change. So that zero point stays the same. You can multiply it by uh, over 9,000 and it still doesn't change anything. So the expansion and compressions don't apply to that zero, zero point. So all we need to do is see what does that zero do? It goes from zero, zero to two, zero. And that tells us our H and K value. We shifted um, two to the right and zero up. We have an H and K, now we just need to find A and B. For expansions, compressions, we need to compare points. So not just look at a single point, but compare between points. So for horizontal, we're going to look at the blue and orange dots and see what happens to them. So for F of X, there's a, range, or a domain of 4 between them. And with G of X, it's the same. Notice between the blue and the orange dot, both of them are four units, so therefore nothing changes horizontally. It's going to stay as one. Vertically, we're going to look at the orange and the green dot, and notice for f of x, we've got four units between the two of them, but on g of x, it's only two. So we went from four to two. 
that means we're vertically compressing by a half. Uh, and also, we're going to have a reflection. Because it was opening up, it's now opening down. So therefore, A is going to be negative a half, or negative 0 0.5, So because it's compressing. Then, we're just going to take those dot or the dots, we're going to take the, the variables and put them into the equation. I get this. So we took the A, took the B, C, there's no C, H and K, put them in the equation. Not too bad. Let's try it with a different graph. So here, uh, we've, we don't have a uh, function that you've seen before, but you can see that they're, these are similar to each other. So there's some sort of transformations applying. So again, we're going to look at the 0, 0 point and figure out where that point goes on the g of x. So it moves here. So we moved uh, left 3 and up 2. So we need to know, uh, from this, we can figure out what h and k are. H is going to be negative 3, because we moved to the left, and we're going up 2. So we got H and K. Again, for A and B, we're going to look at a comparison between points. First, let's do horizontal. So we're going to use the, the leftmost incline here. And notice for F of X, the domain is just 1. Between those two points, G of X, it's 2. So we went from 1 to 2, so therefore we must have an expansion by 2. But remember for b, it's the weird reversal of the x values. So instead of timesing it by 2, you divide by 2, just because it's the opposite. We're going to do for vertical as well, between the same two points. For f of x, it's 2 between those two points, but for g of s, it's 6. So we went from 2 to 6, therefore we must times by 3. So A is 3. And that is combining all of the transformations. So next thing we're going to deal with is we're going to look at inverses. It's going to be our last section that we're going to get into. So told you this one was going to be a good one. I don't even care. Don't subscribe. It doesn't really matter. I'll be, I'll be super famous anyways. And then you'll be that person who's like, I could have subscribed and been in the first 50, but I chose not to, and now I'm super disappointed. Instead of being number 50, which is a huge deal, I'm number 742. So go ahead, don't subscribe, don't like it, I will become a super famous YouTuber without you. That sounds really harsh. I want you to, I want you to be appreciated, but not for liking the video. Although, it's always a race for the first comment, so you gotta be there.